the gym every single day, that's, that's my highlight of my day, you know. I love getting in there and just doing what I love to do. You know, training has been a passion of mine since I was, you know, 12 years old. Ever since I started playing sports, my dad got me my first personal trainer when I was 12 years old. I've been in the weight room since then. I watched my dad working out. I watched my dad work out since I was like two or three years old in the home gym, you know. So training has become a part of my life and, you know, it's really been something that's helped me grow as a person, as an individual, and learn a lot about myself. Um, it's my therapy. All these external factors that we try to ignore, which we do our best to do, sometimes they they steer in your path, but dealing with those factors and, and not letting them intrude on your path to success is, is how you're going to be able to handle those. And there's no better way for me to handle those stressors but to go to the gym and to train. You know, I go into the gym, when I step foot in there, I have... 90 to 120 minutes of my day where I can go in there and I don't have to worry about anything. Because the only thing that matters from the time I step into that gym to the time I leave is to kill my workout. I leave everything else at the door. Nothing else matters. But that time that I'm in there is me versus me in that gym. Me against that weight. I can't control anything outside of that situation that I'm in. So why worry about something else? I'm here right now in the present with a dumbbell on my hand. Why am I going to worry about work? Why do I worry about that, that argument? Worrying about it then and there at that point in time serves no relevance at all. Because at that moment in time, we're there to train and we're there to work out and then we're, we're there to get better. It's self-improvement at that time. But if we're sitting there worrying about what happened yesterday, your mind's straying from what you're trying to achieve at that very moment, and that's to make yourself better. So when you step foot in that gym, utilize your time in there. Forget about what's happening on the outside. You go back to your normal life problems after you get done the gym. So in that given time that you're there, utilize it. That's your time to be free from life. That's your time to let go and connect with who you are on the inside and to challenge yourself in there. Challenge who you are as a person. If you're having a bad day and you don't want to go to the gym, you think not going to the gym is going to make you feel better? No, because it's not making you any better. But if you're having a bad day, you get your ass in the gym, you train, you did something productive, you did something to make yourself better. So you think after you left that gym session, after having a bad day, you're going to feel worse? No, you did something to help yourself. And just by that little bit, you're going to feel a little bit better. You might not solve your problem, but you're going to make yourself feel better at that given moment because you went in and did something you're supposed to do. And as long, like I said before, as long as you're doing something to make yourself better, there's no steps backwards. So given, no matter how shit the situation is, go train. Go work out. If you're stressing out, go work out. Because it's doing something positive and instructive, instru instructive to yourself. way in my eyes to control my emotions and control my feelings and to go out and just work it off. Life is going to play itself out. You know, so why worry about it at that given moment when it's your time in the gym to make yourself better? Leave it all at the door. The uh, right after I got stage at Olympia last year, Camille was at a uh, came by the booth. So congratulations to me. He's always at all the events. Big fan of mine. Awesome work with this guy here.